It is the first Saturday in February, okay? I have three clients, two returning, one new. It's really good, honestly, especially because you do have two textures, right? So it's like What's up y'all, it's Shanice, AKA Yachana Ari, AKA Pineapple Styles, and I'd like to welcome you back to another day in the life of a hairstylist video. It is the first Saturday in February, okay? We starting off Black History Month, right? It's a busy day, I have three clients, two returning, one new at the end of the day. So you know, you gotta stay refreshed the whole day, okay? I hear you singing. <laughs> so, I'm getting ready to leave, about to make some breakfast, uh, just showered, and I'm wearing my pineapple style shirt today from one of my entrepreneur friends, Kevia. I'll actually link her information down below. If you're a content creator, if you're someone that just, you know, you want to get into that content bag, whether it's UGC content, your own content, she has a content studio called Content Atlanta, and her page is Launch with Kevy because you're launching a business. So yes, make sure you follow her. I'm going to put her name on the screen here, but she gifted me this shirt, which is very nice of her, so I'm going to wear it today. Um, so yeah. Let's let's get it together and get ourselves to the salon. Let's go. Come on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. That's how you know it's still early. Let him out. Got some tea. From my first week of work. Sorry, y'all. But pancake mix. <laughs> To get this together yeah so this was my first week of my corporate job i had also filmed um a reset so you know the deal and i filmed the get ready with me for my first day again open it in a new tab let's keep watching let's see what it's like to be both a person working well technically it's is it corporate it's clinical so a person working in the clinical world and a hairstylist so yeah and I'm gonna do a like day in the life of my new position once I'm really in it. I'm training right now, so you know, I don't know if y'all really wanna see that, but let's get it together. It's a brand new day. I'm about to scarf down my breakfast. I already turned on my car to warm up, so let's get out of here. made it to the salon and my clients here as well so i'm gonna just wait for her because the door is normally locked so yeah get the feet in there Turn on the lights. Gotta clean up. So I have my wax warmer. I like to turn that on and cover it. Oh, note, these never leave. <laughs> they don't even evaporate, barely. I'm gonna have these, so. Just gonna wash these real quick. Oh my God. Oh, why is it stuck? <laughs> why, thank you. <laughs> One-handed is really hard, but putting it in the bag. All right. Yeah. So here's my first client. She was present during those last clips. That's why I was laughing so much. <laughs> but yes, so 
she has half relaxed half natural hair she's been transitioning her hair to fully natural and so what i like to do is start by pre-detangling her hair she took out her braids but she doesn't comb it out she lets me do all of that so i pre-detangle to avoid breakage during the shampoo and conditioning process and avoid excess tangling my hair when i was taking it out last night mm -hmm. It doesn't chill, like it don't fall out. That, you see, that's a good sign. Yeah, I was taking my hair because I was taking it out in the bathroom mm -hmm. so I can like vacuum up any hair because I had just vacuumed the carpet. Yeah. And I was like, well, this is a good thing. <laughs> it's really good, honestly, especially because you do have two textures, right? So it's like your hair is doing really well and you have the two textures. So that's a good sign. But I mean, your hair is mostly natural now. No, it's a beautiful thing to be here, finally. <laughs> it's grown out. So this is what her hair looks like after being shampooed and conditioned. And honestly, with this growing out her relaxed hair process, I used Olaplex every here and there just to strengthen the area of her hair where her natural hair meets the relaxed hair um, and to keep it from breaking as much as I could. So now I'm blow drying. I prefer using a round brush as you've probably seen in other videos if you watch me. If you don't watch my videos regularly, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But yes, I prefer the round brush. I think it just works the best at like stretching the hair the best for braids. So this is her hair fully blow dried. Look at how long it is. Ooh. And look at that thickness at the root. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go ahead and braid. She asked me to basically freestyle, but she liked zigzags. So I decided to do a zigzag part and do zigzag parts throughout the hair. Here is her final result, or at least a snippet of it. But my next client was already here, so I had to hurry up and get ready for her. This is my second client. As you can see, her hair is super long. She comes for regular silk presses and haircuts. So let's get into her silk press service. One call, one look at your photo. I go insane going out of my head. No pride. Need to find something to pull me back before I go over the edge. Oh no, I can't live without you. I tried my best, but I can't be without you. So as you can tell, I did her shampoo. I normally like to do two, clarifying shampoo and then a hydrating shampoo. And then we're about to get into her steam treatment. I like to put a towel around the forehead and tuck it behind the ears just so the steam doesn't burn the client in any way. And then I apply the conditioner and detangle. So this is what her hair looks like after her shampoo and deep condition. She is all natural. And yes, even with silk presses only, this is how her hair looks. Just showing y'all a little bit of my blow dry process. So just like with my braided clients, I do start off pre-drying with a comb attachment and then I go in with my round brush. But with people who are getting silk presses, my sectioning is different. I'm focused more on wherever the person wants volume or movement and that's how I decide how I'm going to round brush the hair. For 
for those who wanted to know, I do apply more product before I flat iron and I apply the Kenra Silkening Cream and the Kenra Silkening Gloss. I don't apply a lot, one pump of each to the entire head of hair. Start application in the back to prevent the top from being like greasy. And then I just gave her curls because that's what she wanted. All right, y'all, it is 3.52. I made it through my first two clients, the braids and then the press. I finished the braids as soon as my second client arrived. So, and she was setting, my first client, like her braids were setting. And so, got through that. I have probably about five minutes max to scarf down some food and straighten up for my last client of the day. We are almost there. I got two glimpses of the sun. So yeah, <sighs> time to eat. All right, y'all, so my last client is my new client and I didn't get to show her initial before just because, again, filming for Instagram, but this is what her hair looks like. She colors the front parts herself with temporary color. Well, I would say semi-permanent. Um, it was red by the time we were finished. It was hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> but yes same process I still use a clarifying shampoo and then I use a hydrating shampoo and then she got her steam treatment and I used Olaplex in her hair because for the new client service she does get a strengthening treatment with the steam this is what her hair is looking like after the shampoo and conditioning process. Those curls are popping. We love to see it. And I was just talking to her about her hair. You know, she really just wanted to learn more about what she can do now to continue to grow her hair how she wants and achieve her hair goals. Same as before, I used the round brush when um, blow drying. She wanted a silk press and she dealt a lot with frizz. So my focus for this blow dryer was to smooth as much as possible. This is her hair after being blow dried so you can tell by the shine that it is hydrated but you can see her ends really need to be cut hence all the frizzing they're sticking together that's a sign of split ends and lots of them so time for me to press and then cut her hair so i'm going in with the press i like to use a ceramic iron a lot of people talk about titanium but for me, I feel like I get the best result with ceramic on natural hair, and a lot of people get heat damage from titanium. So at home, I recommend ceramic. Some of you might be like, her ends don't look bad at all. Yeah, because I already cut it. I did that for Instagram. So I set my guide for Instagram with the back of her hair, and now I'm going through and trimming the interior. You can see the splits throughout the interior. So giving that long layering effect helps with getting those split ends that's in the middle of the head. And it's important that your stylist cuts this when you get a haircut, because those are the ends that break up the shaft and create those short pieces in the middle of your hair. So it's important to literally cut every portion of the hair. My cuts are very thorough and take about an hour. To finish off her style, I did some curls and I gave her a silk wrap, put her under the hooded dryer on cold for about 10 minutes to close the cuticle and keep the shine. And then we combed it out. I didn't get a final result for YouTube, but go to my Instagram and you'll see it there. All right, y'all, I am done. And that was a busy Saturday in the life of a hairstylist. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Tell me which style was your favorite style. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. Oh, let me know what other videos you want to see too. Okay, bye.